Hi, I'm Marisol. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing this very small haul that I have and I'm going to start with Lupita um, LPTG Creates by Lupita and I have here some, I guess I got a lot of transparent stickers this month. I usually get a combination between transparent and um, paper, but I guess I, I got mostly transparent this time. Um, so I got some daisies, that's some film, sticker washi, leaves, her leaves, I love that color scheme, so that's why I got it. And then kind of like her love note stationery um, stickers, I have some pumpkins, and these pumpkins, I share them here, but I got um, paper and transparent, and I'll show you in a little bit. And her mushrooms this all is like kind of like for the fall season or ready for the fall season stickers um, and so I wanted to show you here so I got her um, I believe orange muted and neutral pumpkins both in paper and transparent clear stickers I'm sorry the orange I only got in clear for some reason um, but anyway she has a variety she has them with kind of like really neutral lines more muted lines and then kind of with dark lines and they're all really cute so here is the collab that she has with according to Ali Papel Picado I believe according to Ali is on paper and hers you can choose between paper and um, clear and I'll have all of their links below if you use corner 10 in Lupita shop you'll get a nice discount a 10% discount so uh, now I am showing you the washi that I got from according to Allie for some reason I always forget to get her washi I always get the stickers um, so this month I went back and got the washi that um, she had available and I'm going to swash them in a bit for you to see this is really pretty washi um, so I am so excited to be using this in the next couple of months I've um, de-stashed a lot of um, my washi making room for the new washi and here it is I do put the names on the uh, next uh, buy them once I'm done but I believe the top one is the cheetah print spotty dotty the next one is black and white hexagons and the bottom one that really thin one well it's not really thin I think it's like a five mil or a little bit or a ten mil I don't know it's thinner than the rest of her washi that is a crafty spotty dotty and they're really pretty um, I'll also link below her shop that will be my affiliate link but if you use Marisol 10 you'll also get a discount on her um, washi stickers um, which she has available and that by the side is her um, freebie this month so I had shared in my other video that I had gotten more washi from the goat girl goodies Etsy shop and I'll link that below um, but um, I'm preparing I got some for kind of like the autumn and Halloween season and then now I got some like really pretty um, stripes that I can probably use for the winter or Christmas season um, into January so I wanted to share that so that first one is peach sp stripes sorry and then this next one is the black and white wobbly grid um, I have the I want to say it's craft or brown wobbly and it's really cute so I got just some um, classic kind of candy cane stripes <laughs> washi and then I think this is the only one I got for fall, which is autumn plaid. So after I had placed my first order, then I went back and saw this washi and I really like it. So I that's when I placed my second order. So um, the next one is this kind of 
stripe and I think it's just black and white lines but that it was cool that um I probably you could probably use it for Halloween um it, I don't know it looks to me like a fence but so I thought it was cute um and then I got this check box washi um I'm not sure and I should have tested it if you could write on it um, but I didn't, um, so I thought it was really cute to kind of combine with other washies, even if you don't use it as a check box or a checklist box. And then I got this wood grain um, washi that I thought if I kind of um, draw some trees, I can like cut it and make it look like a wood. And as always, she always includes a freebie, and that's the freebie she included, and it's really cute. So this is it, and I'll link her shop below. I don't have a discount code for her shop, but I will still link below. Now I have this uh, Jane's Agenda subscription, and this is a Halloween, or excuse me, the Autumn subscription, and it's so cute. I had to share. I've already used the pouch, and I think it, the pouch is just gorgeous. So this washi um, is beautiful and I was gonna swatch it for you but I couldn't because I didn't leave enough room on my page but it just looks like really um, branches so it's really cute. If you're gonna use it for Halloween you got some big clips um, with this box and I believe there's still some um, of the box available. She include the cards, I put a spell on you, and some cat eyes, and a bookmark, which is super cute. That's another card. And then this right here is a kind of a, what is it? A sticky note pad that you can include with your, um, in your planner. And it does have a little bit of a that cap falling off, so I kind of I think I glue it. Um, you can include it. You might have to add kind of like a piece of cardboard stock or something, and a hole punch it and put it in your um, planner. But you can include it. It is possible. And then, so I'm showing you some lists, some uh, some um, inserts she included with the subscription. And then she included the vellum for October, November, and December, and it's really cute, really like that. And she is already giving stuff kind of to plan your year, and I'm happy I got this in classic size because I am moving in 2023 to classic size, so I can use this in my classic. So planning your projects, goals um, for each quarter. So that came out pretty, that's pretty cool. And so now here is the card stock that she added with the vellum and it is beautiful. She also included kind of like um, the legend of the Sleepy Hollow and a fall reading list, which I am going to be using to read to my kiddos this year. Um, so I really really liked it i had taken out um last year's fall stuff to put in my planner kind of customize um but i decided to go with this because i thought it was cute so here i am i'm just sticking that up back the sticky nose back to that page Oh, so I did do it in this video. I didn't think. So this is last year's, which I'll use in November. Um, and I have kind of that plaid. Um, and it's also Jane's agenda cover. So what I did was um, I put everything in. I like the frosted, but I also like the plaid. So I included the plaid in here. And then I changed up my planner already for this season. And you will see right now, It, I mean, like I said, it's super cute. Yeah, I really, really love how this turned out. So you're going to see in a minute, oh, I it was glaring, so I turned off the light and opened up the window for you to kind of see. Um, but here it is, and I'm going to show you how it fits in this pouch. It's a planner pouch. And it fits so good and you have enough room to kind of put 
pens in there or stickers, whatever you like. So this is, I believe, it for um, my haul. I'm sorry it's a voiceover. I was hoping to kind of do a more like live detail one, but um, that didn't happen. So I had to um, do a voiceover. Um, so here I am. I'm just bringing everything from the haul back. Allie's washi, the gold, the goat girl goodies, um, washi and Lupita stickers and putting everything back in frame. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you on the next one. And if you want to see more, come to my Instagram page. Link below.